Let's take a look at how to find the inverse of a matrix on a T89 calculator. First, uh, let me show my website. This is www.mathheels.com, and there's a link here for graphing calculators, and it'll probably say graphing calculator slash technology in your future. Then if you click College Algebra, you'll see all the different videos that uh, pertain to College Algebra. Now I'm going through creating, um, creating the videos for the different calculators, so you'll see those uh, eventually all be there. Now if you need uh, extra help in uh, College Algebra itself, if you go to Math Class Information, and I'll probably change that to Math Lectures, then if you go to College Algebra, then here you'll see YouTube videos, and these are the exact same lectures that I give in the classroom, so you can come out here and you can, uh, you can watch those. Okay. Well, let's take a look at uh, finding the inverse. This problem here. So we got A is equal to 1, 8, 2, and 5, 1, negative 10, and 4, 1, 3. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to go input this uh, matrix in. So let's do that. <clears throat> okay, so do on, and I'm going to clear that, and I'll do an up arrow, and then do my backspace a few times. There we go. Start off fresh. I'll press my apps. Now I want to go in Data Matrix Editor, and I'll press the 6 that's in front of it. So do 6. Now, um, you'll probably have to do new, because you don't have a, an A. Um, I'm going to show you how to do new first. So I'll do three for new. Now under the type, it says data. You want to right arrow over, and then you want to choose matrix. So I'll press the two that's in front of it. And then a down arrow to the folder. Main is where I've been putting everything. Down arrow, and here's where you put your variable name. Now, the alpha lock kind of throws me sometimes. I don't know when the alpha lock's on, when it isn't. Uh, I want to choose A, so I do an equals, and you should see A appear. If you don't, then clear and press alpha and then equals. Now if I down arrow, I don't know if my alpha locks on now, but we'll see. Uh, this is a 3x3, three three, so I do 3. And notice how it didn't put 3, did it? It put uh, S, looks like. So I'm going to do a clear, and I need to shut off my alpha, and then I'll do 3. And then down arrow, and then 3 again. And then you press enter. You may have to press enter twice. And yours will probably work. Mine says it's already in use, but it's already got it created. So I'm going to escape out of that, escape out of this. Okay. I'm going back to apps. And then data matrix editor, do six. And I want to do open, because I already have mine created. So I'll do two. Now I want to change it from data to matrix. So I'll do a right arrow, and then choose two for matrix. And then down arrow to main, uh, down arrow to variable. Now it's not guessing correctly, it's just putting my first variable. If I do my right arrow key, you see all the ones I have set up already. So an A is fine. And then if I press enter, it'll bring me here. Okay, now we'll get to the menus up here uh, in a minute, but let me start entering this. So one enter, eight enter. Now I went down to the second row. If I do an up arrow, and then right arrow twice over here, put 2 in, and press enter. Then it automatically adds a column. Then 5, enter, 1, enter, negative 10, enter, uh, 4, enter, 1. I didn't go down next to the, uh, I should watch what I'm doing. Okay, negative 10. <laughs> okay, now down arrow, and come over here. And do a four enter, it didn't read my mind. And then one enter and three enter. Okay. So I guess it takes a little bit more to add those. You have to actually physically go down there with your arrow keys. Okay, so we got our matrix entered. You see F1 for tools. If I do F1, it brings up that menu. Then I can uh, right arrow over, plot setup, cell, utility, and see how we have insert. And you can do a delete. Um, resize matrix. This is a very handy one if you don't want to be um, uh, doing that, you know, right, up arrow, right arrow, trying to re have it resize uh, itself. 
You can also do the insert here. If I did the right arrow key, you can see you can insert a row or column. So that's another way I could have done that. So different ways you can accomplish the same uh, same task. And I'll press escape, escape on that. Now I did I did F1. I right arrowed over that, but also F6 and F7 are above your F1, F2. So like for example, again in F7, I do second F2. And well, we don't have anything there, but okay. Let me try a second F1. Okay, and you see then the same thing we just saw. F6 is the one that really pertains to, uh, mostly for working with the matrix here. Okay, so now I got this entered in. And whenever you input your cell, it automatically saves it. So it doesn't like you have to do anything special to save. So now I'm going to quit. So do second escape to exit out. And I want to do the inverse of A. Well, I need to get A. So I do my alpha and choose equals for the A. And then I'll do a caret and then negative 1. Now, most calculators won't allow you to do that. Caret negative 1, uh, it thinks you're trying to take it to the negative 1 power. But T89 interprets it as the inverse. So I press enter. And you see this right here. So I've got negative 13 over 425. 22 over 425. And 82 over 425, 11 over 85, 1 over 85, negative 4 over 85, negative 1 over 425, negative 31 over 425 and 39 over 425 now you probably see that I'm guessing um, there's a, a mode where you can uh, go into so like if I click mode here come down here there's function display digits uh, so forth um, pretty print Scroll down, goes down different options down here. Exact, uh, approximate. Um, under exact approximate, if I did a right arrow here, and um, I said approximate, let's see if that changes. I don't know if it changes it or not, to be honest. I, I just want to test myself. Okay, we get uh, decimals. Um, so again, if you want decimals, then you can have that set up. Um, if you want the exact answer, then you can go back to mode. And come down to, um, there it is, exact approximate, do a right arrow key, and then we want to choose, uh, I think it was set to auto, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe so. I'm asking a video question. <laughs> I'm not slipping any. Uh, okay. Brings that up. Um, so, anyway, that's how you can have it switch back and forth. Now, there are also different functions sometimes under the math. Let's see if there's a fraction here. Uh, not that good with the T89. I'd like to say I'm an expert on it, but I'm not. I don't see any fraction uh, there. Hmm. But anyway, that's how you can automatically get it to convert. And that's finding a, the inverse of a matrix on the T89 calculator.